few months ago, I had the privilege of doing Dagmar's animal communication course. It was amazing and I'm so glad I did it. I've been waiting to do it for a long time and I wish that I hadn't waited so long because it was it's just taught me so much about things that I already kind of intuitively knew or understood a little bit about my horses and my dogs, but I didn't kind of maybe trust my instinct enough to know that I was actually able to communicate with them and understand their needs so much more. The course is incredible. Um, I didn't know what to expect and I loved that it was uh, step by step kind of built my confidence in how to tune in to myself to then be able to communicate with my animals and with other animals. And I've always been an animal lover and really connected to nature and I, I absolutely adore all animals and I have many of my own. And it gave me, the course gave me an opportunity to really spend some time thinking about how lucky we are to have these animals in our lives and how sacred that connection is with them and how by learning to tune in and have conversations with them about things they need and want and what they like and don't like is just it's mind-blowing. I mean, it, in, on one hand, it's like so natural and normal and we should all have access to this. And on the other hand, it's like so many people don't talk about it and it doesn't kind of get... Um, it's, it's like it needs to be not more normalised, I think. We need to learn to do it more so that all of the animals everywhere in the world can benefit from this, from this practice. I learned so much, especially about um, my female dog and my horse, my mare, um, I had changed my mare's name when I first got her and because I wanted to claim it, her as mine and I did this course with Dagmar about oh, five or six years after having taking on this mare and changing her name and one of the things that she told me in the communication course when I was learning to communicate with her, one of the things she told me or she asked me was why did you change my name and that made me feel so emotional because I was like oh I hadn't even thought about whether to ask her. <laughs> If, if she would be okay with me changing her name or what whether she liked particular names and it really struck a chord in me and I was like oh there's so much about our animals that we just pass over that we don't connect with or we don't um, even think to begin like what what are their needs because they can't talk and so Honouring our animals and doing the best we can by them, by learning to communicate with them. And it's not like some far out crazy kind of psychic thing. It's just tuning into what we naturally already do with our animals, but just getting better at it and getting more practised at it. And so doing that now, I feel like I can really understand my animals' needs. I can read them more and I feel like I'm more receptive to them telling me things too and communicating with me about things that they need in their lives and it makes me just feel like a better human being because I can be a better animal owner, animal caretaker and um, and give them the best life I possibly can. So if you're thinking about doing this course, I absolutely encourage you. Dagmar is amazing and gorgeous and very humble and so good, the best at what she does. I highly recommend her and jump on board and learn that there's this amazing world of communication out there with your animals and with, with native animals that you can be experiencing right now. So get into it.